festival. And I went to the uh, Hard Music Festival last year with my oldest son, Matt. There's a lot of activity going on, but I couldn't really sense the performance side of it. Are they like glorified cheerleaders or is something happening in the moment versus just hitting a button? Talk about that. Did I bump you, you out there? No, you, you struck the nerve of EDM. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's the thing that all these main stage DJs want to hide, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It, it, it is, in a sense, you know, I think a lot of glorified cheerleading, you know what I mean? It's like, I personally, you know, when I first started, I said, I'm never going to play another artist's track. Mm -hmm which you know can be interpreted ways uh, in different ways. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously I make Led Zeppelin mm -hmm. remix. I, mm -hmm. I made a Led Zeppelin remix. Mm -hmm. That's another artist track, but it's my own take, take on it. You know what I mean? So everything I play is I've, I've produced in some way. And it's been a difficult journey trying to devise ways to, to get that performance element really in there. But to, at the same time, rock a party so it's like there's these two these two priorities like being a, a musician and a performer and, and and rocking a party and making everyone in the crowd go nuts and it's like I feel like you really have to to balance that and and I've become much more interested in focusing on the um, manipulation and improvisation element which doesn't exist in EDM you know as much as I hope it will in the future.